Good morning, folks. We've got a couple good articles to hit today, two on solar forcing and one on an ancient civilization. We've also had more solar flares and a large plasma filament is destabilizing this morning, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring remains in C and low M-class range, had one just this morning on the south, just right of the central longitudes, and the large plasma filament departing on the north is beginning to destabilize here. It is doubtful it will release with an Earth-directed trajectory, but I'll be watching it as the day unfolds. Another look at that action in 304 angstroms, ionized helium. You can see how the destabilization begins slowly, and then about two hours ago it hit a tipping point and is whipping harshly. Point of no return there. First two articles today are on solar forcing, both at the long cycle level and the individual events. This one could have done more to include some of the subtle forcing of major oscillations and modes in the atmosphere, but this one is solidly pieced together. Those who have our textbook may recognize these names. Here they are discussing electric forcing that impacts the clouds, stratosphere, global temperatures, and much more. Solid work. Both are linked below. But our top story today is this. You may have seen it making the rounds online, so we went down and hunted out the actual paper. First off, it is an online preprint, which is why it says January 2024. That's when they will print the hard copy of the journal issue. Second, if this isn't right up the observer's alley, I don't know what is. If you have been here a while, you've heard me say Australia was likely once connected to its surrounding islands. This seems to suggest where they were connected was a great civilization that sank into the sea. I know a lot of your imaginations are running right now. So is mine. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.